So Chris and I had way too much fun making part one of this. We weren't really planning on a part two, but there were so many amazing comments for moments that we'd missed. I just thought we have to come back and, you know, go through some of these. As soon as we'd made that video, it's like the floodgates were open and the suggestions that came through after that were just incredible. So it just, for the sake of the universe, it had to happen. And also there are some like fairly recent football Twitter moments that are really funny. And this gives us a chance to look at some of these. I would like to get things started with actually a very recent one. <laughs> There oh, we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> I actually went as this to Halloween. Now, the problem was I couldn't get a short haired afro for it. So the long hair made it quite confusing. Yeah, I was going to say, at what point did Paul Scholes and David Louise have a love child? My problem was every man that saw the costume in that evening was like, that's brilliant. I love it. Every girl that saw it was like, so what have you come as tonight? And I was like... Well, whip your shoes off and I'll show you. What I think might have happened in this photo is it might have been his wife's legs, but the daughter's just taking an Instagram story. That's why it says true love. Still like extremely weird. Yeah, the lesser of two evils. Something strange is afoot here. We could potentially start with the quite spectacular here because of just how weird it is. I think it has to be quite spectacular. Get your chops around that one. Another one, I don't know why we didn't include this in the first video. It's the CR7 boys underwear competition. <laughs> oh God. I think, like we said in the last video, noncing goes back many years. Yeah, some noncing's more deliberate than others. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is, you know, this is more of an accidental bit of noncery. Non-slaughter, you know, we'll let them off. I think that one's bang in the middle for me. Another very recent but very funny incident. Oh my god, this was one of my favourite threads I've read all year. Should we go through it? My favourite part is, like, because he clearly didn't expect it to go this far. So at the start, like, the photoshops are actually, like, good quality and, yeah. like, you know, <laughs> It actually looks like him, but fatter. And then at a certain point, it just gets to like, this has gone too far and I can't stop now. I think my favorite point is when the photographer starts getting eaten. In terms of traction to a tweet, that's gotta be one of the biggest that football Twitter's ever seen. The thing I love about it is it got to the point where Ronald Koeman might have actually seen it. Yes, he's just come out with sort of another board meeting where he's on his last warning and his kid's just like, look, look, dad. <laughs> You're on Twitter. I reckon maybe quite spectacular. That one stays fondly in my memory. So this one isn't one moment, but it's more something that's ingrained in the brains of everyone on football Twitter. It is, quite simply, the Pep is bald and Fraudiola memes. <laughs> it's just such a funny insult, bald. Like, you just, you can't win, bald. Wasn't there an interview after he'd been like, I, I think he'd either lost a game, and didn't he say, like, um, people keep saying Fraudiola or something? And when uh, the first season, it was Frau Guardiola, Fraudiola. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he he said so. it. That comes across as so far in his Swede as well. That's really come from the depths of his mind. Yeah, this haunts him at night. I think that possibly has to be football, football heritage. heritage. This one's a bit of a blast from the past. The Ashley Cole at Roma photo. Yes, yes, yes. This was a good one. Just really unexplained why it happened, really. Do you know what it looks like? I think the guy on the left was in that little gap and has just moved as the photo has been taken and just, you know, left poor Ashley, Ashley out yeah, to Yeah, that would make more sense. I think in the middle again, I would say. Which is where Ashley wishes he was. I'm just gonna put this on and see if it clicks in your brain. <laughs> this is right up there for me. My favorite one I think is the one near the start. This let me talk where the aggression is rising. Can we have a demonstration? When you watch the cameo video that's hopefully coming out soon, check out the cameo video coming soon to the Chris Dixon channel in which you can see Ollie do an impression of this. I think again, it's probably vaguely memorable. It's it's a very it's solid for me. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a big a massive one, but it is very funny. It's been used many times in Chris MD videos. <laughs> I love the way it was the Velociraptor that complained. <laughs> again, I'm just gonna put it on the screen and see if your brain clicks. Oh, oh, I remember something to do with this. Okay, let me just put the tweets on the screen. This should jog your memory. I don't remember why this was funny. What? <laughs> Cause... <laughs> oh, that was it. I mean, it kept going for, for a bit. I think I was off Twitter for the day and all I saw was the photos afterwards of this Dulux social media manager basically just being burnt at the stake after this. No, no, he, like, he went out to hero. I love the idea of Dulux just paying Spurs like a mill just so they could abuse them on social media. It's good, but I think it's the first one in the second two from the bottom. I feel like it has faded in memory. Okay, for this next one, I'm gonna put this in. The Wenger out plane and basically the trend 
and it started. We played against West Brom. During the same match, a plane flew over saying Wenger out, and then another one 15 minutes later came across saying in arson we trust. And obviously, yeah, this did start a bit of a trend where now whenever a manager's under a lot of pressure, they can expect a plane flying over their, their next game. So the, the plane banners. I think nasal exhale for me. Now there's a plane banner for Louis van Gaal as well, which reminds me of multiple occasions when Louis van Gaal was incredibly weird. The stacking it in front of Mike Dean, I think. Then he's got a set of really weird quotes. There was a time when Fellaini had his hair pulled in a match, like someone grabbed his hair. He was like, when does this ever happen in normal everyday life? Maybe in sexual masochism, and <laughs> it's just strange when you see what what hood is doing with falani shall i grab you with your hair only with uh, with sex ma masochism <laughs> then it is uh, allowed but not uh, in other situations louis how have we got here i've just seen louis van Gaal's army where he sat there going louis van Gaal's army i think louis has to be vaguely memorable this one may be fairly niche to arsenal twitter but i think it's fairly mainstream football Twitter. I'm going for the Jermaine Genus memes. You know, the whole, yes, we got smashed 5-0, but you can't say Spurs didn't deserve to win the league. <laughs> when I started enjoying them was when it was matches that Spurs weren't even involved with. I don't know, there was like controversy around something. A handball in a Liverpool against City match or something. Yes, it was probably handball, but I think we can't deny Spurs deserved to win. Alan thought that Chelsea deserved to win. You're not so sure. Well, definitely not. I can't believe that you think that, to be honest with you. I, I don't see how you don't feel that Spurs deserve to win that. This is such a meme now. Here could say those words. That could be a nasal exhale. Yeah, I think nasal exhale. Right, for this next one, you'll appreciate this one, I'm I'm sure. Delia Smith. <laughs> oh, getting football heritage just right up there. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's no doubt. That's one as well that's stood the test of time. Like, it's an old clip, but still gets so many references. A message! A message! <laughs> She's amazing, yes, isn't she? The avenue. <laughs> what a Come weapon. On. Like, it would be nice to have owners that cared that much about the club. I want to see Josh Kroenke uh, come out when Arsenal are like 5 0 down to Liverpool at half time. I would say be excited. Yeah, Delia Smith, football heritage. No debate, no debate. This one was almost the inspiration for doing a part two of this the boring James Milner account. Oh, yes. I've lost my trolley coin somewhere. If anyone finds it, please let me know. There's a picture of a tro shopping trolley on it. Thanks. <laughs> I would say this one I had seen better days. Sometimes a tweet from the boring James Milner account still comes up on my Twitter and I'm like, it's kind of like an old family pet that you just feel like no one wants to put down, but probably should be. I know what you mean actually, but in its prime, it was one of the biggest like out of context football accounts. Yes, 96 rated boring James Milner was quite a sight to behold. But yeah, this, this account in its prime, I would say is quite spectacular. I think quite spectacular, I agree. <laughs> Do you remember the uh, DT versus Mark Goldbridge and the friendly that they played, like the United <laughs> Stand versus Arsenal fan TV that had to get called off because they had too many players. <laughs> DT off. just started picking fights with everyone. DT's up against Goldbridge. Here we go. <laughs> just, it's just a complete foul. <laughs> Was that a kick from Goldbridge? <laughs> it just goes for him. It's just. There's just so <laughs> many handbags. Like, it's so like the in between us fight in that movie. <laughs> How angry he is! <laughs> That's a lot of testosterone. <laughs> the best part is when he walks past his son. I think it's quite niche for Arsenal and United Twitter, but yeah, when it surfaced, it was just, what great viewing this was. Possibly, oh yeah, that happened because people probably don't really remember it. No, it just happened. Nasal too. exhale. It appreciated by few, but great content. This one I know you'll love. <laughs> when I think it was the National Lottery, they did this thing with them um, with all these athletes and had them holding up like blank banners so you could put like, <laughs> you know, messages of support on them. It got hijacked by football Twitter. Like, this is the most iconic one, I think. This is quite but, spectacular. This was absolutely yeah. incredible. There are some like really bad ones, which I'm not going to show, but there's some really funny ones. Sick Trolls, aka Football Twitter. I've just seen this Savile is innocent. I have mad people. <laughs> right, this has to be quite spectacular. <laughs> Peter Crouch being Peter oh, Crouch. Oh, yes. I think Peter Crouch is one of those people that consistently drops funnies on Twitter. Yeah, he does, but, uh, yeah. This is one of the big ones. It's just the wording. Yeah, that'd be great, mate. Thanks. <laughs> Cheers for that. I think that one. Nasal exhale for me. 
This next one, Dimitri Payet is better than Mesut Ozil. <laughs> and the civil war that this started. Please find that clip of the, the Family Guy clip, I think it is. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Dimitri Payet is better than Mesut Ozil. <laughs> He was rent free in Arsenal fans' heads for a while he truly after that. Was. But again, this is obviously very niche. I'd say Arsenal and West Ham fans, or maybe even just Arsenal fans. I don't even know if the West Ham fans cared enough. It, <laughs> yeah. it was just us getting wound up. It was up. just us getting triggered by ourselves. I think nasal exhale for this one again. Again, similar to the genus ones, the Graham Sooness anti Pogba uh, memes. I had a tweet that it's my most successful tweet. Oh, um, yeah, I remember it. I remember it. Yeah, after the riots at, uh, at Old Trafford when all the fans broke in. Yeah, the police and club security should have dealt with these protests better, but you have to ask, where's Paul Pogba during all of this? <laughs> Hiding in his hotel room instead of taking the protest by the scruff of his neck. I was quite proud of that. Yeah, vaguely memorable. <laughs> Good old evening, David Gold. <laughs> My son's just started school. Any chance of a retweet? And then... Good luck, young man. We have no idea if he actually knew if it was a joke or not. No, 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 there's no chance. You know, there's another in between this tweet. <laughs> Surely he'd cottoned on by this point. Someone asked him, what's been the worst day of your life? He replied back to them, I saw my wife having sex with my best friend in my swimming pool on the same day I discovered my father stealing my shares. <laughs> DG. I'd say if we're grouping all the David Gold tweets, like including these, into like this, could we potentially put that in quite a Spectacular. I, I think we could, you know. I got a lot of suggestions for this one. It's the Tammy Abraham, you are what you eat. I think the first, oh yeah, this happened. It's a funny tweet, but yeah. Yeah, honestly, I feel the same. I mean, it's a funny tweet, but I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen it too much. Do you remember this? The North remembers. I'm tempted to say quite spectacular because I think that's the one that describes it the best. It's just impressive isn't it the fact that no one like it's kind of like the logan paul hanging video the fact that no one stopped him along the way if he's got social media people surely they would have seen that and gone hang on this probably isn't a good look is it just gonna stop you right there antoine <laughs> i think quite spectacular captures the energy of that yeah. one the best do you remember the sam allardyce sting <laughs> the thing that got brought up most about this sting and this photo in particular it's the pint of wine in front of him. Like, you just can't ask for a more Brexit figure, could you? Oh, actually, do you know what? Do you know what could make it in? When Chico dived and then literally Sam Allardyce just laughs in his face. It's absolutely incredible. Essentially, you've just got a man down at the pub laughing in his face. About three pints of gravy in. Now that you mention that, this gets an honourable mention, but some of the Neil Warnock memes, like the one where he's holding his head and the one where he's just, like, like moving towards the camera menacingly. Yes, the dog, the... <laughs> And then the one of him next to Guardiola that's like five minutes of him talking, being like, You've got to die to get three points! Neil is definitely, he's definitely up there. I think maybe Football Heritage. I think Neil has done so much for the English game that he deserves to be in Football Heritage. Yeah, I'm happy to go with that. Let's end on a real high with, yeah. uh, with Neil Warnock. Just looking at this list, I cannot believe that we missed out on some of these in the first yeah, video. Yeah, there's some real whoppers in there. I don't just mean Sam Allardyce. But yeah, once again, a massive thank you to everyone that left comments. Uh, with suggestions for all of these that we missed. If you had to pick a favourite, what would yours be? Possibly the National Lottery ones. I was literally going to say that. That was just so funny. Either those ones or the Peppers Balls memes. Special place in our hearts. But yeah, once again, a massive thank you to Christoph for featuring and sacrificing another evening uh, looking through <laughs> some more of the most iconic moments from football Twitter. Oh, don't make there a part three, please. I'm going to say goodbye and let you finish the outro by yourself. What he said. <laughs>